You are listening to the Digital Parent Podcast with your host, Seth Lewis. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Digital Parent Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Torch, the router that will allow parents to block and pause the internet. In other words, you can prevent any type of electronic devices from being on during dinner time, bedtime, any time that you choose. And the thing that I love about Torch, it really gives you control over the internet. You can block certain sites from the router, which means that regardless of what device your kids are in the house, they can't access what you don't want them to access. So please check out more of the features at MyTorch.com. If you go to MyTorch.com forward slash digital parent, you get a free $50 off coupon. Now, on this episode of the Digital Parent Podcast, I really wanted to touch on the new movement of being device-free for dinner. Uh, we've all been there as parents where you know, we're at the dinner table and either us as adults, uh, we're on our devices, our kids on their devices, everyone is not communicating. You know, there's a lot of loss, you know, family quality time at the dinner table. And there's even a, a small growing movement, you know, that's being spearheaded by Common Sense Media, where basically they create the hashtag, hashtag device dinner free, meaning that, you know, wanting parents to really go device free at the dinner table. So I thought it'd be a great idea to have Sherry Vegas, who is the founder of Create Your Phone, to be on this episode because her and her husband created this small crate that they started using with their family, and they turned into a business that started to really boom. Not only have they started creating, you know, their phones in the household, but the creature phone idea is also, you know, carried over to adults at dinner time, at parties, um, the people at business settings, like, you know, people that may be at a conference room or you have a, a conference call, people creating their phones in their nice little crates. So I wanted Sherry to come in and talk about the concept behind Creature Phone, how it's taken off, and some of the benefits, challenges that she saw with her kids when she first introduced this concept. So I hope you guys enjoy the show. Hey, Sherry, welcome to the Digital Parent Podcast. We're so happy to have you on the show today. Thank you for having me. Now, Sherry, you and your husband are the founder of Crate Your Phone. What is Crate Your Phone and how did it get started? Well, um, I am a mother of two young girls and a freelance graphic designer. So I just was looking for a product to use to remind us to get off of our technology every once in a while and have some time together. I saw a need for this and looked around for something and couldn't find anything, so I created it. And the bigger picture is to get people to use the phrase, create your phone, as you know, just the go-to catchphrase to ask someone to get off their phone. So, Because right now, I don't think... You know, it's kind of like people get defensive if you say, hey, get off your phone. It's, but um, it's kind of a fun, nice way to say, create your phone. And it just reminds people to put down their phone every once in a while and have some one-on-one time with each other. And I think there's this new social movement of, you know, what you call the device-free dinner that's going around trying yes. to get people to, like, you know, turn off their phones during, like, dinner time. So yeah. the, the question I have for you, Sherry, is that what were you seeing that was going on with your family, with your two girls, where you and your husband say, you know what, we got to stop this and we got to do something different? Yeah, um, well, I saw it with my girls and with my husband as well. Um, you know, parents are just as guilty as be, of being on their phones, and that's kind of where the kids learn it from sometimes, but... Um, I saw it with our family and with other families when we were out and about, people just sitting at dinner and they're not having conversation because they're all on their phones, um, families, people out on dates. And, you know, I just thought, gosh, it's, it would be nice to have something to remind people to put their phones away. So, um, you know, we started using it in our house. I have one on the coffee table in our family room and I have one on our dinner table and it's just a good reminder. You know, we put our phones in every night when we have dinner together and we don't have the distraction of the technology and it's worked out really nicely. 
And what was the initial response from your dogs? Was there any pushback? Was it, Mom, you crazy? I got to have my phone. <laughs> you know, what, what was that initial response? Take us to that initial response where you say, hey, guys, from now on, you're going to put your phones in this crate. Yeah. Um, you know, the initial response for, uh, obviously, most kids, they're, they don't like it. Um, my girls are pretty young, so they didn't give me as much pushback as, um, I've talked to some other families that use it and there are kids that are in the teenage years that are, are a little more addicted to their phones, um, were not happy to get the create your phone in their house. Right. But you know, what's funny is then I talked to some kids separately, um, without their parents around and we had a really good conversation. They were a little, they're a little older, um, high school and college. And they said that they really didn't like it at first. And they kind of rolled their eyes when their mom brought it home. And they're like, Oh gosh, you know, what are we doing now, mom, create your phone. And so, um, but then after they started using it, they really saw a need for it and they really appreciate it. And they like to use it with their group of friends now because they, after using it with their family, they noticed how annoying it was with their group of friends that everybody was just with their head down on their phone and not talking. So it kind of, you know, spilled over into when they were hanging out with friends, they use it and they ask their friends to create your phone. And once people put their phone down and get used to it, they really enjoy it. So it's really helpful. So do, are they taking the crates with them out to, to lunch or to dinner and having their friends to create it? Or are they just sometimes, using the catchphrase? Yeah. Sometimes they take it. I take it everywhere with me. <laughs> um, we're out here on vacation for my kids' spring break, and I take it with me. I think every hotel room should have one. It's so nice to have in the hotel and use as a reminder on vacation. Um, so, you know, sometimes they have it with them. Sometimes they'll just use it at home uh, when their friends are over at their house, or they'll take it to dinner, or they just use the catchphrase, hey, create your phone, and they all put their phone in the middle of the table. There's a fun little game you can play, too, where you – put your phone in the crate or um, you stack your phone on the table and whoever picks up their phone per- first has to pay the bill. Oh, wow. That is a nice little <laughs> game. Yeah. And I think it's important, Sherry, to remind people, this is not just for kids. It's for the entire household, right? So this is for the adults as well to create their phones. Yes, for sure. It's um, my girls, you know, usually are saying, Daddy, create your phone. So um, it's really nice when the whole family gets together over the holiday and you have the entire family. Um, You know, people definitely use it a lot for that. And you get the the youngest, cutest kid to carry the crate your phone around and ask everyone to put their phones in the crate. And, you know, you can't say no to a cute five-year-old. So (laughs) That is true. They're adorable when they're at that age of five. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> so did you see Definitely. like any um, like immediate impact like when you, when you start creating the phones? Like, did you see more like one on one time between your husband and your daughters? Did you see their communication start to pick up a little bit? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, we always have fun conversations at dinner now. And um, we have a little thing that we like to do. We ask, go around the table and say, what was your favorite part of the day? What did you learn today? What mistakes did you make today? So, um, you know, it just allows us to do that without any distraction. And uh, we keep up with it a little bit more. So That's a good point. So it seems like you are you more in tune on the, like, the day-to-day happenings at your children's school now? Like if there's any potential red flag, if there's any bullying or something going on, now you may be able to pick it up a little bit quicker if you didn't have the crate, you know, my phone crate. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, you know, just having that conversation without the distraction is very helpful to know what's going on with your kids and stuff like that. So, definitely. Now, what are some other creative ways you've seen uh, some of your customers use to create your phone crate? Well, um, what, what I do, it's 
it's a great gift for someone that has everything, first of all, because um, it's since it is a wooden crate, you can fill it with anything. So I've taken it. If somebody invites us over for dinner, it's a nice, uh, you know, host gift, put flowers in it, um, stuff like that. So people did that through over the holidays and gave it as gifts and filled it with different things. Um, I have a couple ideas on my website to use it as an Easter basket, and then they can use the Create Your Phone afterwards. So what I do at my house um, on the coffee table, we store the TV remotes and stuff in it. And then when we're all sitting it down to ha- watch a movie, we can take those out and put our phones in. Um, and then I have a an orchid in it on my dining room table. And then when we have dinner, we remove that and put our phones in the crate, your phone and you can use it during dinner. So um, it's just, a, it's a nice, something that looks nice that fits into any household decor and, you know, you can fill it with something and then take it out and use it for the phones as well. So. Do you see like, um, like it growing a little bit bigger? Do you have like a dream of maybe, every restaurant having a crate at their table to kind of remind people to create their phones while they eat dinner? Yeah, I think that would be great. Um, We actually just got a sample of a mini crate that uh, we came up with, a mini crate your phone. And so it can fit on the tables at the, at restaurants a little bit easier. And so I would love to see those in restaurants. Um, like I said, again, seeing them in hotel rooms would be great. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely, you know, our, our next move that we're looking at trying to work out with some restaurants. So when you say hotels, are you saying the hotel rooms or like in the hotel like lobby area? Um, hotel rooms. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any, uh, any like future plans for maybe the car or other different places where people need to can create their phone? Yeah, I get people ask me about the car quite a bit. Um, and I've been kind of, you know, trying to work on some ideas for that. Um, one of my customers sent me a picture. She just keeps it in her passenger seat and it's a nice way for her to like store everything without it, you know, flying around the car. She puts, it's big enough to fit like a mini iPad Right. Um, a Kindle, several phones, stuff like that. So she, you know, puts all of her stuff in there in the passenger seat. So, um, yeah, I've been messing around with some different ideas. I just haven't thought of the perfect, uh, idea for a create your phone that fits in the car somewhere. So, but yeah, it's definitely in our thoughts. What about the office, Sherry? What about like, you know, if I'm at work and, you know, you have so many gadgets these days when you work. You have your personal phone, you have your work phone, you may have your iPad, iPad mini. Is this something that could fit on somebody's desk at work where they could create their phone? Oh, yeah. Um, actually, uh, Simon Sinek posted my Create Your Phone, and I got a lot of businesses ordering to have it, you know, on their desk or in their conference room, and they use it during business meetings now. Um, Also, a lot of teachers really love it because they'll use it in their classroom and ask kids as they come in to create your phone, and then the kids can't have them, um, can't be on the phone during class time. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of different situations that people are using it for. It's been really great. So, Sherry, for our listeners, what is the uh, price for the Create Your Phone Crate? Um, you can get them on our website at createyourphone.com, and they're $20 each. Uh, there's a rustic gray and a brown. Um, and then we also sell them on Amazon Prime. So, Is there a difference between Amazon and Amazon Prime? Um, well, you could get a Amazon prime. You just get the free shipping if you're an Amazon prime member. So, so if you're not a prime member, can you still find it on Amazon or you, oh, yeah. you need to go to the website? Yeah. You could go to amazon.com and, uh, type in, create your phone with no spaces and it'll come right up. Oh, that's so. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Are there any future plans of adding different colors or anything that's on the horizon? 
Yeah, definitely. Different colors, different sizes. Um, I'd like to come up with one that it would be like a travel one. So you could take it um, with you on vacation or to a restaurant and you could just fold it up and put it in the car. So there's lots of ideas uh, for some other products. So yeah, definitely. So I guess the last question, Sherry, are there any social media sites that, you know, customers could go on and kind of look at some pictures of the crates outside of the website? Oh, yeah. I have a Create Your Phone Facebook page, um, Twitter account, Instagram, uh, Tumblr. So, you know, it's out there and we're always uh, posting different pictures and ideas and uh when my customers send me pictures of them using the crate, I had a just recently a customer get about 50 of them for a big work conference that she went to. Sure. And they were on all the tables at the conference. And um, so she sent me a picture of everybody putting their phone in the crate, your phone on the table. And um, so I post pictures like that. So it gives people different ideas all the time. So, yeah. Great, Sherry. You know what? We really appreciate you being on the podcast. We're definitely going to try to get people to definitely crate their phones. I actually have my own crate, your phone crate. I love it. Our kids love it. Our family, we use it every night. So I definitely stand by the product. Great. Well, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Um, it's It's been fun. It's a great idea. So I appreciate you having me on. All right. Thank you, Sherry. All right. Thank you. Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed that episode and I hope you go forward with the device free data movement and start to create your phone. Make sure you click on the show notes for the link to purchase your own crate. Sherry's doing a good job of keeping the price low. She's selling it under $20. I will tell you, it has multiple benefits. My kids are not only using it for dinner time, but they're also using it for like game time. So when they're playing their video games or when they're playing board games, they're using it to store their cell phones. It's really small and nice and compact. You know, you really carry it with you. And, you know, you even put it in your car if you're driving. It's be a place for you to store your phones as well. Those are some things that we're using it for in our family. So it has a lot of purposes. And make sure you go to her website. And you can see some of the other ways they're using it. That's at CreaturePhone.com. And also, make sure you go to iTunes and subscribe to the Digital Parent Podcast. Please rate this episode and tell us how you felt about the episode. So we'll talk to you the next time.